We were interested in what actual patterns of alcohol use were around the time of conception and in early pregnancy. We found that among both women who intended to become pregnant and those who discovered they were pregnant at a time when they weren't anticipating being so, that both of those groups quit using alcohol very promptly after having a positive pregnancy test. What it meant for us was in the context of recommendations that women not drink any alcohol if they were planning a pregnancy. Our group had some concerns about whether that was plausible as a public health strategy. So we wanted to see what actual women were currently doing. And we were pleasantly surprised by how promptly people changed their alcohol use, mostly quitting completely with about 6% of women continuing to consume some alcohol, and almost all of them at very low levels. When the CDC updated their guidance, they recommended that not only women who were planning a pregnancy, but also any woman at risk of a pregnancy not consume alcohol. That was the part that generated a national discussion, the second part about at risk of a pregnancy, foregoing any alcohol use. There are 61 million reproductive age women in the United States. 43 million of them are deemed to be at potential risk of a pregnancy. It seemed unlikely that 43 million women, about whom half use some alcohol on occasions, would completely forego alcohol use because of a risk of pregnancy, especially if they weren't planning a pregnancy. So we wanted to know what was happening in the real world. We thought that we would see this certainly among women who intended to become pregnant. But we also saw it among almost 1,500 women who did not plan to be pregnant, that the date of when they had a positive pregnancy test was almost identical to the date at which they say they changed their alcohol use pattern, mostly stopping. So rather than tell all these millions of women, don't drink because you may become pregnant, what, what we really need to be getting at is, let's find out if you're pregnant sooner, if you think that you are. Is that what you're saying? We think that's a individually responsible way to handle this, and policy-wise may be more practical for implementation. It would imply, though our study doesn't test this, it would imply that access to inexpensive pregnancy tests and encouragement to test earlier around the time of a missed period would be a better strategy to prevent alcohol exposure in pregnancy. This study was not designed to test that, and we certainly know, based on fetal alcohol syndrome, that there are levels of alcohol use in pregnancy that are dangerous. But it's reassuring that women who are watching their reproductive health can stop early enough in pregnancy if they're aware of the pregnancy.